whilst I may be very hopeful for the future of Wayland, even I can admit when X11 simply does something better and likely is always going to be that way, I cannot ever see general Wayland compositors actually implementing this feature. There might be some like hyper niche ones that add just ridiculous features, but as a general rule, this is probably going to be lost to X11. Have you ever wanted your desktop to look like this? So recently, this article started making the rounds. Ideal monitor rotation for programmers. This is not a new article. It came out two years ago, but this tweet posted about it and it kind of popped off because someone said, hey, what's stopping you from developing for diagonal mode? Well, turns out you actually can do that on X11. Now you might notice I'm recording this from my Hyperland install, not my X11 install. The reason for that is uh, OBS doesn't know what to do if you rotate the screen by one degree. It just completely ignores it. So I have to record the screen using an external camera and I'll show you the results on X11 when they are relevant. Now, regarding a sensible answer to the topic of the article, there are two rotations that actually make sense. Landscape and portrait. Now, like most people, this user has experimented using portrait displays for reading and programming. The ability to display large amount of text is certainly appealing, but it is fairly boring. Like, look at this. It's just a portrait display. What are you going to do with that? Personally, I do have a portrait display. My secondary display over here that has OBS and my file manager on it, just because I don't really have that much room to work with here. Also, I don't really want to crane my neck all the way over here. So having everything right here is a lot easier for me to work with. I also have a screen next to my camera. This is my glorified teleprompter. Now, I could make a proper teleprompter without like things you can buy to have a proper teleprompter on your camera. I don't want to buy them though. And I kind of just like what I'm doing here. It works. It is what it is. So I'm just going to keep working with it. And doing this on Wayland is easy enough. On KDE and GNOME, you have your GUI configuration tools to go and set it however you want to set it. On most WROOTS compositors, you can also use a system called WLR Render. On Hyperland, there's also a config file to set the transformations. But this is your basic sensible stuff. This is landscape, 90 degree to 70 degree. And if you really want it, if you're an absolute psychopath, you can invert the display and then have it landscape, but upside down. I guess the one value to doing this is it makes it a lot easier to access your ports. And for the basic rotations, xrander is basically just as easy. You can do xrander dash dash rotate and then do either left, right, normal, or inverted, which are all just shorthands for 0, 90, 270, and 180. But that right there is the boring functionality of xrander. Yeah, zero degrees is great for most applications and video content, but you have a lot of white space with websites and documents. And yeah, 90 degrees is great for text documents and chat applications, but videos don't really work too well for it. You have these giant black bars on full screen video. What if you wanted to use Xrander to do something a bit weirder? What about one degree? Or what about 45 degrees? Well, one degree is great if your desk is on a slight lean, but fonts do render a little bit weirdly. It's kind of like if you have a really bad scaling factor, everything is just blurry. And 45 degree is a great middle ground between vertical and horizontal, but it doesn't fit well with non-square aspect ratios, which is every single display on the market. Now it is worth keeping in mind that even though you are doing a rotation, the origin point of your display is still the same point. So when you rotate, it rotates around that same point rather than moving it. This can lead to some really odd results. 
and you might want to shift the virtual position of the display so the entire thing doesn't just fly off the side. Also, from my understanding, things are still being drawn even if they're not on the screen. So, if you notice, for example, that your mouse just suddenly vanished, be sure to check it isn't somewhere on the X11 display that isn't visible on your physical display. Now you probably noticed, but this user isn't using a 16x9 display, they are using 21x9 and ultra wide. Now doing some fancy mathematics, you can work out what angle is going to give you the longest possible line. It turns out, that is going to be 22 degrees. The only problem is your webcam does start to slide away, which is probably an issue at 45 as well, but maybe it's just already finished sliding. And look, this is stupid, but if you physically rotate the display by 22 degrees or 45 degrees or whatever amount you're rotating it by in X11, this is usable. Now, I wouldn't say it's pleasant to use or you want to use it, but it is usable. So this here, I think, is the best monitor orientation for software development. It provides the longest line lengths and no longer need to worry about that pesky 80 column limit. This probably gives you, I'm going to say close to 300, maybe 400, which, you know, is a pretty good space to work with. You do kind of miss out on most of your file tree and all of the, like, explorer thing on the side here, but you can have really, really long lines. So then, if for some reason you still want to do this, you're probably wondering, ow. Luckily, it's not that complex. It's just xrender dash dash output, set the name of the output you want to rotate, and then dash dash transform lots of numbers here. Those numbers being cosine x minus sine x, then the shift left, sine x, cosine x, shift up, 0, 0, 1, where x is the amount of degrees you want to rotate by. Now, you could go and do all of that math yourself. Or, the auth provides a calculator here that fills out all the numbers for you. This is going to work just fine with negative numbers and decimals and pretty much anything else you want to use. Do you want to do this? I would recommend against it. But, if for some reason you're thinking, hmm, is there a practical use for this? I don't think there is one. However, I did make a Python script that demonstrates just how dumb this can be. So if maybe you want to, I don't know, run it on your friend's system and not tell them about it. I'm not encouraging you to do this, but the script will be available on GitHub, linked in the description down below. And if you perhaps, I don't know, blow up your system, I don't know what will happen if you leave this thing running for like 30 minutes or an hour. If you break something, that's on you. I do not care about it. But let me know your thoughts in the description down below. Do you have a reason to run your screen at a diagonal? Did you know this was even possible? Is this something you would ever actually go and use? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scribes, the Libero Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and honestly, please do not run this script. Yeah.